All right, guys, so I have the uh, Vizio OLED here. The test patterns that I was trying to use for this SDR test was being very uncooperative, to say the least. I was only getting about 290 nits across the board. Vizio just doesn't respond well to uh, using test patterns, so I have this uh, loop here running and just getting bigger and smaller with the uh, sizes here to test for ABL and things like that. And also, as you guys see, when it goes full screen, it doesn't aggressively dim down, so that's also really nice. And as you guys saw there, I was even at 200 plus nits. And that was as it was at its like widest point, 187 there, 163 as it starts to dim, 187. So it holds full screen brightness really, really well, at least as far as OLED. Usually OLEDs drop down to like 140, 150. This is like damn near 200 nits on a full screen of brightness. Like as you guys can clearly see, you know, it's pretty damn impressive. So it goes up and it goes down as obviously things are moving. Now, the highest I saw this get up to was like 444, 445. I think that is what we'll call it for the uh, peak brightness here. But honestly, guys, it's a really, really bright TV, like much more than what this test pattern will show you, um, because obviously it's it's a bright white highlight. And, you know, those are typically uh, problem areas and they want to dim that stuff down pretty well to reduce your risk of burning. So you're not gonna see as aggressive uh, of a highlight as you will, like when you are watching real content and I'm telling you, and real content is just freaking impressive, the amount of like punch and pop and highlights that they throw out. Like as things start moving around, scenes start changing, this TV gets incredibly bright. Now you'll never know it, by looking at this ramp up and down and looking at all this, the highest that we saw right now is like a one, or no, sorry, a 448. But honestly speaking, guys, it's much brighter than that. But this is just for SDR right now. So unfortunately, I can't do what I would typically do and just go through like a bunch of uh, windows here. So hopefully this can help you guys out. Now it's just on a, a burn-in test, but that's different. Um, but I hope this video finds you guys well and it's helpful for you guys. Obviously now it's just sitting at like 31 nits right now. It's not doing much of anything on this burn-in test. But um, I really hope that this brightness test was helpful for you guys. If you have questions, leave them down below. I want to thank you guys so much for watching the number one brand in honesty. And until the next video, I'll see you guys later.